Hello students, a very good evening to all of you. Welcome to Online Tayari. This is Meghna and I am here to explain today's current affairs. Okay, let us begin our first question for today. E-portal Aspire has been launched by which of the following? You have four options. The right option is option A, ICAT. What is ICAT? International Center for Automotive Technology. So, ICAT, they have launched e-portal, automobile solutions portal for industry, research and education that is known as Aspire. So, you got to know what is the full form of Aspire. It is automobile solutions portal for industry, research and education. The motive to launch the portal is to improve the technological capability of Indian automotive sector with the help of exchange of knowledge and expertise and enhancing their skills to promote the growth of automo automobile sector, including overall socio-economic progress of the country. So, Aspire is a part of planning devised by the DHI to promote innovation, research and development and also product development in India. Clear? Let's move to the second one. Who has been appointed as the next ambassador to uh, Turkmenistan? Okay. So, next ambassador of India to Turkmenistan. So, we have four options. The right option is option D, Dr. Vidhu P. Nair. So, Vidhu P. Nair has been appointed as the next ambassador of India to Turkmenistan. So, currently he is serving as a director in the Ministry of External Affairs and he is also an IFS, Indian Foreign Service Officer of the 2002 batch. Clear students, let me move to the third one. First super giant isopod species has been named. You have four options. The right option is option C. Batinomus Ruck Sasa. So this is the name of the newly found the cockroach. Okay, and this is the first super giant isopod species. A team of Singapore's researchers have been uh, have found the new species of cockroach deep in the Indian Ocean and they have found the species when they were working on the unexplored waters of the Indian Ocean in Bantam. So Bantam is a, uh, it's a location where it's in the southern coast of West Java in Indonesia. Clear? Let's move to the fourth one. The portable hospital named Medicab has been developed by it is option A, IIT Madras. So, Medicab has been launched recently in the Wynad district of Kerala where the units are being deployed to treat COVID-19 patients. The Medicab portable hospital can be folded and it can be made of four zones. What is it students? It are four zones. So, what are these four zones? I'll tell you. One is the doctor's room, another is the isolation room, a medical room or a ward and a twin bed ICU. So, they maintained at a negative pressure. The initiative has been started in partnership with Sri Chitra Trinunal, uh, Trinunal Institute of Medical Sciences and Technology who provided inputs and funds on the certifications and customization necessary for the project. It's a very, very good initiative by IIT Madras. Clear? Let's move to the fifth one. Which of the following recently developed malware is capable of stealing data? It is option B, BlackRock malware. So, a mobile security firm Threat Fabric has discovered the malware and the malware is being distributed as a fake Google update packages offered on a third party website. The malware will do intrusive operations such as perform SMS floods start specific ads, show custom push notifications, perform SMS floods, sabotage, um, sabotage um, uh, mobile antivirus ads. So what is this? Is The BlackRock is totally modified with stealing passwords and credit card details. Okay, clear? Let's move to sixth one. The action plan of India in the third G20 finance ministers and central bank governors meet was in which response? It is very clear and very understandable. It is option B. It is in the response of COVID-19. 
So Nirmala Sitaraman, the finance minister, participated in the third G20 finance ministers and central bank governors meet. India shared its G20 action plan in response to COVID-19 that was supported by all the G20 finance ministers and central bank. India discussed two major agenda at the meet and one agenda was about enhancing access to opportunities for women and youth and the second one was about the international taxation agenda related to digital sector. Clear students, let's move to the seventh one. India's first indigenous pneumonia vaccine has been developed by which of the following? You have four options, the right option is option A. Saram Institute of India. Okay, that is in Pune. So, the Drug Controller General of India, that is DCGI, has given approval to the country's first fully indigenously developed vaccine against pneumonia. The drug regulator, revo uh, they reviewed the phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3 clinical trial data with the help of a special expert committee submitted by Pune based from Serum Institute of India and then they obtained the market approval for pneumon uh, pneumonical polysaccharide conduit vaccine. Clear? Okay, let's move to 8th one. UAE has launched its first spacecraft to Mars from which of the following countries? It is option C, Japan. Okay. So, it will be from the, the uh, they took it off from the southern tip of Japan. The launch is the beginning of one of its most ambitious space projects yet to the country. And its objective, what is the main objective? Is to study the weather on Mars as it evolves throughout the planet's, planet's year. Name of the uh, spacecraft is HOPE, H-O-P-E. So, weight of this HOPE is 1350 kilograms and it is developed by Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center, that is MBRSC in United Arab Emirates. Clear? Let's move to the ninth one. Who has become the new chairman of HCL Technologies? You have four options. The right option is option A, Roshini Nadar Malhotra. So, the appointments of the non-executive director Roshini Nadar Malhotra to the new position takes effective soon and Shiv Nadar will be replaced by Roshini Nadar Malhotra. She has been responsible for offering strategic guidance to organization. She has also worked as an additional director on the board of India's third largest software exporter in the year 2013. Clear? Let's move to the 10th one. The World Chess Day is celebrated on which of the following days? It is option B, 20th July. The World Chess Day is celebrated on 20th July every year by the United Nations. The day marks the date of establishment of the International Chess Federation in Paris 1924. It also provides an important platform to foster dialogue, solidarity, and culture of peace along with recognizing the instrumental role played by FIDE, that is nothing but International Chess Federation, in supporting international cooperation for chess activity and its motive to improve friendly harmony among people across the globe. So students, these are the 10 questions for today. I hope you all are clear with all the 10 questions I have discussed with you until now. Tomorrow, I'll be coming up with another set of MCQs for you. Until then, stay tuned to Online Thayari. Thank you.